Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Research and Analysis. My name is Dr. Kamran. In this video, I'm going to share with you some special techniques to collaborate with the people who are at their different places and they want to collaborate. This technique is very useful if uh, you are a teacher and you want to share some material with your students throughout a semester, then you can use this technique. But specifically, my focus will be on the research group. For example, if you are uh, two or three people who are uh, working on a same project for the publication, or you know, maybe you are writing a book, but so, so that you can, uh, you know, rather than sending uh, your material or updating each other via email, what you can do is use this technique and you can be updated all the people will be updated in the real time whatever the updates will be uh, regarding the material or whatever in the term of the write-up or you know in term of sharing the documents so it will be done in our real time so uh, without wasting time i will take you to my laptop screen from where i will guide you how can you use this particular method from now i am just telling you for this purpose you need to have either the you know onedrive account or you should have a, a you know google account if you have a google account you can use google drive and if you have outlook account then you can use onedrive so both methods are you know equally useful if you want you know some paid version of course you can get more space but as far as if you are collaborating with, you know up to certain gbs then uh, you can rely on free uh, uh, space which is given by google drive or onedrive so let me take you to my screen well this is my screen and i am going to open my onedrive so the method is same if you are using uh, onedrive or even google drive you will use the same process now here I'm going to create a new folder let named it as project collaboration let named as uh, knowledge hiding let open this folder and now I will select a few of the files which I want to share with my group so I have just copy those files and paste in my folder of project collaboration so once these files become uploaded I'm going back so this is the folder which I want to share with my group fellows so I will select it and right click and here you will see the option of copy link just simply select it once you will select it you will see this link so now the, the specific link which is attached with my folder is being created and now I can just copy and share this link with my group fellows so my group fellows can open this folder through this particular link and they can view the documents and also there are certain advanced options then for this uh, you know purpose we will need to click this anyone by default it is on anyone it means that anyone who have this link can view these files but if you want to uh, select some specific people you can just click this option of people you choose you can write down their email addresses and then it will be locked for only those people whom email addresses are being entered here and then you will see this option of can edit here are two options can edit and can view if you select can edit then it means that your group fellows are like if you are sharing to so many people so all those people can edit it edit the files they can 
add more material in that folder but if you just select can can view so it means that they can, can't make any changes in this folder if you are a teacher and if you are sharing some material with your students and of course you do not want them to make any change in that folder and, and you want to continuously sharing some material to your students throughout the semester so you can just select this can view option so in that case they will not be able to make any change but still they can view all the documents they can download it but they can't make any change in this folder but if you are uh, sharing uh, the folder with your group fellows you are working on a collaborative research then of course you will select this can edit option so that uh, your group fellows can also make some changes in this folder if they want to share some documents or maybe if they want to update any word file and you can also set some password if you feel that your folder is very secret then you can just add some password and share this password to your group fellows and finally you can select uh, if you want to block the downloads if you want group fellows now to download these files you can of course select this one otherwise it is better just to put it on off mode and finally you will click this apply option hopefully you must have understood the process through which you can collaborate with a group of fellows who are at the different places but by using this technique you can you know update each other in a real time i hope this video will be helpful thanks for watching